will continue about the chapter 6 that about the nerves and pores. Now you know that so many things from this chapter that related with this chapter about the metals, what is the minerals, what is the ore, and what is the metal, non-metal, ferrous, non-ferrous, so many things. And also about the different types of metals, about their uses, where they will found, what are the sources in India and the world, and what are the about the non-metallic minerals. So so many things that we already discussed about it. Now today that we are going to discuss about the conservation of mineral resources. What is the conservation? What is the meaning of conservation? Conservation means that to store, we have to prevent the uses of mineral. We have to store as much as possible. We have to store the minerals for the further uses, for the future uses. That is called the conservation. Now, what happened? That is the mineral is the noise, renewable, this non-renewable substance. Now, what is the meaning of non-renewable? that those substances are not possible to make easily. Means this type of substance that we cannot make it easily or you can reform it easily. This type of minerals, it also takes the almost the 500 to 1000 years to form. That is why this type of minerals we should need to use as much as possible. We try to reduce the uses of this mineral. Then only it can possible that we have to store some mineral for the future generation. Otherwise, in the, in the uh, next, in the future, the generations, they are not able to use the minerals in a sufficient amount. Otherwise, their cost is being increased. So, it is very difficult for them, they have to be used or utilized in a proper way. So, from now on only, that we try to use or we try to use that as much as possible in a less amount. Okay? Now, we have to find out some ways by which if we follow, then we can reduce the uses of the minerals and we can conserve or the conserve of these mineral resources. Now what are the ways that we have to be followed? The first one is the mining is often called the robber industry because it's exploitive nature. This one underline it. Mining is called robber industry. Why? Because it's the exploitive, means the explore and mining should be made efficient, better the mining be efficient for the technologies and whenever the mining process is being take place that time due to the mining not only one type of minerals that we have get so many different type of minerals that we have to extract due to the mining process now the next is a clear roadmap to be got that better management of the mineral resources and the future decades that almost the next 10 years those are the, if we want to use the minerals, then we should need to conserve from the nowadays. And for the next 10 years, no need to worry about the uses or the amazement or the arrangement for the minerals. Now, the transparency must be priority and the minerals resources. Corrupt practices and the mismanagement of the mineral resources, it make the highly inefficient. Or the corrupt management, if the, those are the people, they are uh, they belong from this type of group or the mining section, sometimes few people are the corrupt people and for their corruption only, the minerals are used by the misused. Their minerals have been uh, stolen and they have to sell into the foreign markets, so it not utilized in a proper way. So people for their own profit, they have to be used in a more amount. Now, in which subs to use the alternative energy like the hydroelectricity? Instead of minerals, we have to find out any alternative use. What are the alternative use? Is the another which work that is the same type of work that will happen by through this type of minerals. Instead of minerals, this type of substance that we can be able to use. Now, use of minerals is a planned and sustainable manner. So, should be encouraged, and the source and expensive minerals are be substituted from the abundant ores. And for example, aluminium can be substituted copper for the electrical industry. Aluminium is a substitute for the electrical industry. And also that instead of the exporting the minerals, we should export the manufacturing group. Means if we send the minerals the raw as a raw materials, that time we should not get the more profit for our economic, it's not good for our economic condition. But if we send the manufactured goods, if we utilize the raw materials in a proper way in our country only, that time this type of goods, if we send into the foreign market, that is being more valuable and
I create the more economic development for ourselves. Now the innovations and research into the synthetic minerals is essential. And the innovations and the research it being very important for us. That we have to find out, we have to research the other materials that from where we have to utilize the in the instead of the minerals, instead of the substance. And the technology should be improved by the low grade ores and the profitability. And now this technology being increased, so people as much as possible they have to use the minerals in a less amount. And those are the scrap minerals also being found. We should not throw it anywhere. These also scrap minerals also can be used in the other purpose. Or the, those are the other works or the small industry. We should try to use it. And more, the main thing is that make the concern is among the people. The people should concern about this matter. That is mineral, it's a limited substance, it's not the unlimited. So it's a limited thing. So if we not concerned about this mineral, that will be very difficult for the people that we should conserve or the conservation process will be go further. So the people should sacrifice their profit. Then they should be think about the future generation or the next generation. They know it can be possible that we have to conserve the minerals. So here the different ways have been given that how we can conserve the minerals and it's our duty and responsibility also that we have to conserve the minerals. So from here we have to learn at least any five point. From here at least any five point that you have to learn. Okay? So I hope this will clear to you. Now then also if you have from this whole chapter, if any clarification, any doubt, if you not understand anything, then you can solve it in your